seriously missing church. Gathering together to pray together as Christian is the best. Online church, you may be alone at home, praying and you are saying amen, which has no impact. I'm missing church. For three months, churches in Lagos, Nigeria have been on a lockdown because of the COVID-19. The Elevation Church, now a shadow of itself, empty pews, but not an empty pulpit. Godman Akinlabi is the senior pastor here. He pastors his congregation via the internet. Now the question is, if the coronavirus disease does not go away, what would be the future of physical gatherings in churches? On the immediate, when the government says gatherings should stop, I don't believe that the church should go against that and say, no, we're going to keep meeting. What we're dealing with is a pandemic. It's an, it's an highly infectious, a highly infectious disease. It means that if I create an opportunity for it to fester, to, I mean, for people to get to contact it, on the immediate, when the government says gatherings should stop, I don't believe that the church should go against that and say, no, we're going to keep meeting. What we're dealing with is a pandemic. It's an, it's an highly infectious, a highly infectious disease. It means that if I create an opportunity for it to fester, to, I mean, for people to get to contact it, uh, it can be a bad case. With the number of the COVID-19 cases spiking up daily, the government insists that churches can't reopen yet. We will not be proceeding with the opening of the places of worship as instead earlier for the 19th and 21st. We will be suspending it until further notice. But with images like these, with scores of markets and workplaces open, some religious leaders view the continued delay in church resumption as a wrong decision. When you tell a church not to be more than 50, then how will new members ever come in? So mm. it's indirectly saying to the church, no more growth. Manage, manage the numbers you have, because almost everybody has more than 50 members. So mm. they don't be more than 50. So it's an attack against the church. Facing the church alongside um, um, entertainment, um, um, carnivores and what have you, I think like Apostle has said, and Pastor Jerry has said, I think the government has missed it big time. As, as a popular pastor who pastors a, a massive church in Lagos, how are you taking the issue of the guidelines given by the Lagos State government for church resumption in the state? The guidelines the government gave, um, they were very, very unusual. They were um, different from how we would have a normal service. But to be honest with you, um, we felt that an opportunity to come together as a household of faith was so much cherished that we couldn't wait for the 21st to start our services. Um, if it was going to be 100 people, if it was going to be 200 people, we were ready to go. And fortunately, we have enough space to be able to have the 500 that the government um, gave us a limit. It was a limit, but we were going to start with the 500. Um, yes, with the mask. It, it was going to be different, obviously. We, we, are, we are forced to do it. We are doing it. Uh, that's not the, it, that's not the ideal way you know, to do desires. church. Like Femi said, you can't, you, can't, you can't do much, you know, really, you know, online. But you just do the bit you can, which is just to preach the word of God. Uh, there's nothing like that, you know, face-to-face -face fellowship. There's nothing like um, when we gather to see each other's face. There's an energy it brings on its own. So what we call the corporate anointing, you know, when we all sit under the glory, that's, that's, it's irreplaceable, you know. And um, we, we are doing it online because that is the best next alternative. The role of the church in the society is not only about preaching. We have other roles, other significant roles. The church is an essential part of our society. I know that a church is a church, a church is a charity, but please, the church is also a community. That sense of the church has to be brought out now for everybody to know it's a community. If we are not gathering, 
then we are being denied. Yes, we can be a church online. We can be um, a charity by the things the church is able to do with the resources, but we are not that community. Um, um, Apostle, tell me, Christians are dying of COVID-19. What is your reaction as a pastor? I mean, I mean, the, the argument is don't open churches because Christians are also dying of COVID-19. And, and if you open churches, it's going to be a, a, a safe haven for the transmission, for further transmission of the COVID-19. What is your take on that? That is, that is not, that's stupid. What, what about the marketplaces? All the markets are all open. The malls are open. The buses are running. People are mm -hmm. still struggling mm -hmm. to, to sit. People sit in the buses for three hours, standing there for mm -hmm. three hours in the traffic, all jammed mm -hmm. up. What, they've, not, they've all mm -hmm. not died. So I think mm -hmm. it's, this, see, this whole thing is an attack against the growth of the church. While these religious leaders in Lagos share different sentiments, in the southeast Nigeria, Pastor Jerry Aze calls for the absolute reopening of churches. Thing looks weird, you know, getting to tell people you have to wear face mask. You know, I've never done services having people close their nose, close their mouth, you know, and then you want them to say praise the Lord. We are not a village meeting, a gathering of village meeting people. We are not just um, a social club as it were. We hold the solution to what the world is going through. Let me say this without any fear of revocation. Send those COVID-19 people and have us pray for them. Give us three days after. Go and check them. If they still remain positive, close down the church. Meanwhile, the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria has asked its members to obey government orders. Once again, let's, let's uh, wait and hear further instruction from the current leadership. At the KICC Church in Maryland, Lagos, a lot of safety measures have been provided, such as thermometers for temperature check, a mini clinic, and a sunny tunnel in anticipation of church resumption. It is unclear whether there would be a new date for the resumption of church services. However, one thing left to be seen is the atmosphere these services would take when they return. From Lagos, Nigeria, Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.